listen to The Handmaid's Tale. This is season three, episode 11. I had to keep looking down here because I was like, what season am I on? What episode am I on? Um, I'm ready to jump into this episode. You guys already know this, ep this show is amazing. Um, and I'm really excited to continue on to the journey. Just a few um, side notes that I have for you guys. I hope you guys will be here when we get into uh, the Omen Smash or Pass movie reaction that I'll be doing this weekend. And I think I'll be doing Dawn to Dusk or something like that, whatever that movie is called, or Death Before Her or Death or I might be doing the Exorcist uh, movie as well, which I'm going to announce that I'm going to be doing. I think I'll be doing that this week. Weekend, um, The Exorcist and The Omen. Those will be the two movies I do, and then I will look into some other movies. And the point is, I hope you guys are here for my movie reaction, so definitely hit that notification bell uh, so you guys will be notified when I do just that. Um, and also, there was something else I wanted to say, but honestly, I'm kind of wired right now. I just drank a lot of espresso, so my mind is all over the place. Um, so let's just shut up and get into this reaction. Thank you guys so much for being here. You guys are everything. Of course, I have to shout you guys out. Um, there's a lot of new people coming to uh, the platform as well where they discovered the Handmaid's Tales reaction. So, hi ho wins low to all the new uh, people. Um, a shout out to the new members and channel members, Patreon members, you guys also. I always have to shout you guys out. But in collective whole, all of my subscribers, um, thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here and enjoying the show with me. It really has been an amazing journey with all of you guys. So I just, I always do these random like rants about how much I love all of you guys. <laughs> so you're welcome. I just, I really do. I really do. So thank you guys. Now we're getting to this episode. It's titled Liars. I thought everybody was a liar on the show, except for a few, a few selected people. Um, so this is kind of interesting. We finally get to a title called Liars. Uh, and I'm ready to jump into this. So, so if you want to see this in a full reaction, of course you can. On the second or third tier here on this platform, that will definitely copyright all my sh as well as my other platform, Patreon. So once again, please join one of those platforms to be able to see this in a full reaction today. Now, if you want to support the channel for free, of course you can. Hit that like button, share, and don't forget to comment down below. Now, without further ado, ooh, 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 let's jump into The Handmaid's Tale and find out exactly what the show has got to give. Marthas and handmaids are offering to help me get 52 kids out. And 10 seats. Hmm. How does that math work? Socks, girl. <laughs> Eleanor. <sighs> Eleanor, listen to me. I love you. <laughs> you don't want to be a murderer. You, you were raped because of him. You were brutalized. I know you want to kill him. I would like to kill him, too. But we can't always just do what we want. It's all his fault. No, it's not. It's your fault, too. You could have done something. I have a plan, Eleanor. But I need him alive to put down the gun. Go ahead, June. How do you know it will work? Because it has to. Because all of this has to add up to something. Help me make it mean something. Good job, June. You see, in a second, her plan could have just ended. What an opener. Drink? No. Sure. Never mind. Yeah, you do everything, don't you? Ice queen. Thank you. I found those kids that can help you leave. I also found the Marthas who were willing to help. 52. I'm sorry. 52 kids are gonna help save from this shitty place you created. Part of the equation we overlooked mental health. Obviously. <laughs> you owe me. Literally your life. Maternal love. We overlooked that one too. So many regrets. <laughs> I need to get my wife out. Can you get more trucks? I'll try. Wouldn't it be funny if you actually turned out to be a hero? 
June is insane. I tried not to overpack, man, but we still need the same number of toiletries, even for one night. How close are you to bringing her back? It's hard to get governments to agree, so I'm taking a more personal approach. And you're sure that this is the best thing for Nicole? Thank you for loving Nicole so much. Time to go. Wait, he's driving? Nice car. It's here. Feels good to drive again. They're here. Just answer their questions. Don't ask any, don't say anything extra. The Martha's? Are we having a Martha meeting? Oh. Are you working on a plan to get kids out? Yes. Who asked you to do that? No one. So it's your idea? Yes. Dumb idea. We could poison you. Dump your body in the river, make it look like a suicide, and no one would know. Will you grant me permission to rescue 52 kids from a lifetime of salvaging's torture and rape? My commander will provide the vehicles to get them out. Lawrence? He's done it before. You jumped onto a train that was already moving, and now you're Che fucking Guevara. If you would like that vehicle to be empty, I have no doubt that you can do that. But why? She saved this house. She got the bomb maker out. She saved the five from Chicago. Billy's helping us unload. And we'll wait until after the shipment. We will not interfere with your plans. We can't risk a security crackdown. There won't be one. We will not help you or offer protection. We will not stand in your way. Freedom, not the open road. I never knew you could hide a big old douche. Mr. Twello didn't know who he was dealing with. They think we're as weak as they are. We've returned the world to its natural state. Something to be proud of. Broadcasting from somewhere in the great you should have a turn. Driving. No. This is so awkward. Which is crazy, because it's just driving. You got this. I'm riding a bike. We're so honored by your visit. It's lovely to meet you. We've been blessed to have my parents here to help us raise them. It takes a village. They mentioned someone named Billy. The bartender at Jezebel's. I trust his love of money. <laughs> she didn't need her breakfast? I guess. She didn't bring the tray in. Have you seen Lawrence? Sleeping in? The car's gone. Those are all the kids. Sorry? Day, Commander Lawrence. To whom shall I place the call? What are you doing? Help me. We have time to make a plan. It's over. I'll have to put Jezebel's again if I'm lucky. Can you help me talk to Billy? Are you insane? Why can't yes. we just get the kids on the plane? This house was a hell of a lot safer before you got here. I'm scared. <laughs> get out. <laughs> Go. Copy. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh. I hit those notes, right? All right. <laughs> Do you remember us in our little apartment? I kept you in a steady supply of chocolate croissants. You were trying to fatten me up. I wrote my first book there. Oh. Could you take that away from me? What? I didn't realize how much this would cost you. Do you ever imagine what our lives would have been like? I suppose I'd still be in marketing. You'd be a television pundit. And then we would get a divorce. <laughs> and then you'd find a fertile woman and marry her. More likely, you'd leave me for a man more capable of giving you a child. Why couldn't we retire to a town like this or this right one? I don't know. We could give up our place in life. You love D.C. I don't give a damn about the Winslow's. I don't want to miss watching our daughter grow up. She is going to grow up to be just like you. I would give him the hand that has only four fingers. This is going to end really bad because they're getting along right now. Serena. What are you doing back? I had an attack of conscience. Bullshit. Right. You promised you would help me. You should have known 
that my wife is more important to me than you are. You can't get out, can you? Exactly. You need new authorizations for the checkpoints in the new territories. I don't have them. So you can't get trucks out? I can't get a mouse out. They've, they've got me. I will do what I can to keep you from the worst of it, Isabel. So I'll try to find you a kind commander. You're taking me to the city. I'll wait here for you. You better. Everyone needs help. Maybe you have access to a cargo plane. You want to ride? Not for me. For Beth. I'm 52 children. What? That's how you know Beth, you're in the Lawrence house. It's like living in the attic of Moma. He'll give you the art. I just need you to keep it on the ground. 20 minutes, if you're lucky. So you'll do it? All of the art. Billy. He likes money. Let me know. I'm Joseph. Is he out? Oh my gosh! Did Lawrence bring you here? Yes. And why isn't he up here in one of the rooms with you right now? He likes me to come here and then tell him what happens. You all seem to have your kinks. Why don't we give you something to tell him? Get on the bed. They, nobody can know about this place, right? So she can actually kill him here, right? Take off your panties. We pretend not to be present. With the shoes on. One detaches oneself. Hi. Hi, Dan. I mean, she has no, no weapon. No more teeth than a beast, too. <laughs> 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 A service elevator at the end of the hall on the left. I saw you at the cages. You saved me. June's like, somebody else catch me. <laughs> Would have been here, woman, and gone the next. June, she gotta touch every wall, crevice, corner. Drive. <sighs> Mr. Tuello? I have a safe place we can talk up ahead. Follow me. How well do you know? Do you trust him? Yes. Well, how could she know him really well? She's not near him. This is not just up ahead. Right, that's what I said, Commander. Call this just up ahead? Right. Commander Waterford, you have now crossed into Canada. We are Come arresting you me. for war crimes. Under the Russian. Right, just do what they say. While you will be held in custody in Canada, you may ultimately be this transferred. Is a joke. Cars with war crimes, human rights violations. The charges identify the use of your authority and access to the apparatus.
Um, okay, I have to say that was one of my favorite en endings ever of this entire show. One, it was epic. It was full of epicness. Sorry, I had to adjust myself, y'all. That was amazing. That First of all, who sang that song? I love that song. I'm gonna download that and put it on my Spotify. No shade. I love that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, that is a great song. Then everything that was happening while it was happening, I just couldn't, that was epic. <laughs> so. Let's talk. It's gonna be brief because I totally wanna to order Chinese food right now. Um, and I'm like trying to like eat a salad, but girl, at this point, uh, fried chicken wings, uh, pork fried rice, and some spare rib tips with some soy sauce and some hot sauce sounds just about right. Um, <laughs> and I am on a diet. Thank you so much for noticing. But anyways, this was a really good episode. The commander was totally set up by Serena and I knew something was gonna happen because one, this is The Handmaid's Tale. Two, these people are a psycho. And three, this is not a really good like show. Like it's a great show with horrible things that are happening in it. That I should be, I should clarify myself. This is an amazing show. This is a phenomenal show, but everything in the show is just dark and depressing. Minus actually this episode where we've seen a new side of June. June, this episode for me, is from start all the way to finish, approved. 100% certified June. But you know, they had it mixed. They had to give us old classic June where after she killed that sexy, sexy man, we're just talking about the man in general, okay? The, that, that actor who plays a horrible person in DC. And he's like one of the head honchos, right? He's dead now. Um, but after she killed him, you know, she had to feel the walls. She had to make sure the walls were right. She had to make sure the scene was good. Um, make sure people saw her face you know, when they were passing by, that she had blood and her hair was disheveled. But it was also this place that she's at, it probably just looked normal, to tell you the truth, because they torture these uh, women, these these women that are prostitutes, pretty much. So they, those two people that passed by were just like, yeah, I'm wearing a little red riding hood outfit. And the man was just so uh, entangled in the lady that he really didn't care. And that's actually men in real life. Shout out to them. <laughs> being dumb. Um, <laughs> not all men, don't cover me. Um, but yes, so then we have that situation. Okay, okay, so she kills Commander, she feels the walls, she's trying to be Stevie Wonder, and then she finds her eyes, she gets inside a car, and she goes with Commander uh, Lawrence, and Commander Lawrence and June think about the ending of this episode, right? Right, they think, okay, come closer, come closer. They think they're in real trouble. I actually don't think they are, to tell you the truth. I think they're fine, because as we've seen, that that guy gets burnt to crisp, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, your body is nothing but So, there's that. Um, so I don't think that I don't I don't think that they're going to be in any trouble. Now, what Serena did was pure gold and a throwback to whatever episode that June told Serena that she has to give something to get something. I think that's what she said. Not maybe the exact words, but it's the same never you difference. Um, so she gave them her husband, one of the top commanders, and he's arrested. I'm sure if we ever see him, he's just going to be in prison. Um, there's no way he's getting out. And I was like, well, where? And I said the seasons, the seasons were turning. We were in fall fall, uh, 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 winter, and then we got into freaking spring, and the commander's just like, you know, he thought it was very suspicious. Serena, you did a really good job, girl, that acting that you just did not know what's going on. Very good, girl. Shut up to you. But she wanted to get her daughter back, and she knew what she had to do to get her daughter back. Now, what is going to happen about this? Is she going to stay in Canada? I don't think she can go back to Gilead. Right? She, how can she actually go back there without the commander? There's nothing that she could say that could justify her and the commander being... Like, there's nothing... I don't know how she's going to go back to Gilead. I don't. I don't. I'm sure she'll figure a way. Um, and is the government really going to give back her daughter? Nicole? Not even her daughter? 
Like, what? This is super strange. And, or did she strike a plea deal, which was give her husband, get, like, she doesn't get charged with anything, and then possibly a, a, a reunion with Nicole, and that she'll have, I just don't see Canada. Oh, Canada. I don't think that's the national anthem. But I don't see Canada giving back the daughter to go to Gilead. I just don't, that doesn't make any sense either. Um, so who knows what's going to happen, y'all. This is insane. This episode was, if I can rate it higher than a 10, I would. That music alone at the end really did serve the people what the people wanted. The people wanted something good in their ears and they served you literally the entire song. Like, and I am with the shits. I'm with the giggles. I love that. Um, I actually don't know what else to say. By the way, shout out to all the Marthas and I, there, there was like a, a tribe of Marthas that will um, approve or deny you uh, application to do whatever the fuck you want to do. Um, shout out to them. And then they just broke and went into different directions within like a drop of a dime. I was like, wait, wait where's everybody? Um, this episode was amazing. Amazing. Pure gold. Loved it. Completely rewatchable. I can't really uh, wait to put this thing, thing together and to watch it over again myself. Um, thank you guys once again for being here and please stay just two seconds because you need to see this animation I paid for and I need to say it right about now. If you would like to support this channel for free, of course you can. I'm saying what I said before. Oh, good. Please hit that like button, share. Don't forget to comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time with more The Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where all these where these voices came from. Let me just say the title of this uh, show, Normal. <laughs> I don't know where these are. I don't know where it came from, y'all. I'm just trying to. It's the Espresso. Shout out to Espresso. And I'll see you guys next time with more The Handmaid's Tale. Bye.